I'm ready. That I do. It's a little bit tight. I'm still traveling. So, but when I get back, you know, <laughs> I'll be working. And if we can find a job, that is. So big, that's, job, a big yeah. that's a big question. <laughs> that's the if. Economic depression. Hell no. Uh, partly, okay. I've got a bank of an ex-boyfriend that I'm traveling with at the moment. Um, I'm in Australia while the world is in a crisis and I'm going to spend at least three years away from economically depressed Britain as my mum keeps saying don't go back, don't go back. I said I won't. Uh, I can feel what's going on but like personally I just, you know, uh, I'm fine with it at the moment. Yeah, it's probably because I'm young and I don't have too much expenses. Now I have a year in fiction and by that I don't care about anything. <laughs> it just really, really hurts. And I want to die. I have five more days in Australia. And that's what I get. A year in fiction. So, for me, it's not uh, that uh, kind of big thing. But I, you hear about on the streets some people uh, who get, uh, you, or read it in papers, people get fired and stuff. So, but personally, it's not uh, for me. <laughs> We're not depressed. We're not depressed. We're living the life ready. <laughs> We're in paradise. We're in Byron Bay. Can't get depressed. I'm not depressed at all about it. That's, that's that Are guy. you? No way. <laughs> that guy's depressed. No way. To pay off like uni debts. Oh yeah, that's right. fees. Oh. Yeah. yeah. When I lived in London, I am. Um, I watched uh, a lot of TV and I, I, I watched uh, a lot of the news and current affairs programs regarding war and economy. I found um, it really quite in, you know, engrossing and to the content that they gave you to, to build um, all kinds of conspiracy theory. Tomorrow's my birthday, right? But five years ago, when I was turning 25, I had $100,000 in my bank account. <laughs> now I've gone zero. Actually, $11. <laughs> Oh, actually, minus fifteen hundred dollars for my bank, uh, credit card. People losing their their uh, principal, but the investors are, etc. And it's uh, no go for the workers; they're just losing out completely. And uh, it's compulsory, so uh, you know, it's just uh, should be co it should be completely uh, rewritten all that stuff. What is what is normal? So. What is um what is um reality in this uh, man-made infrastructure of economics? Well, reality is what you create. You create your own reality, Krista. Through these infrastructures, I suppose we do. Through our the own actions. The result we, of it can be depressing, this destruction of the Absolutely. environment. Absolutely. I'm speaking, I'm speaking personally, but I don't have economic depression. No, I'm, I I'm not. But I could see how some do. people could be. Absolutely. Probably if I had uh, kids and a house and a car. So yeah, it would be much more difficult. Yeah, hopefully it would be better, you know? <laughs> no, you I've been me. feeling, yeah, moments of joy, actually. <laughs> do you have the economic blues? And what do you think would cure it? <clears throat> what would be an ideal economy? Looks bad, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> At home we have everything. We live with parents, but then you know, we're, we're, we're getting older. So I want to live on my own, but I don't want to have to rely on my parents all the time. But okay. I'm worried I will. But I'm just so used to I it. I don't want to be like that. Like they gave me money to come up here. Like they funded this trip. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to find a rich man, I've decided. So there's no way in the world that me earning $500 a week, I'm ever going to be able to buy a house. So it's pretty sad. It makes me depressed. I'd, I'd like to just find a woman that likes me. <laughs> Lots of people do have economic crisis going on, mate. Well, yeah, true. People are absolutely discriminated against in this country. Poor people. There's lots of people living under the poverty line, you know, in this country. What is, what's the percentage? Is it 20% of people in Australia are living under the poverty line? 20%, when you ask about depression, 20% of Australians have some type of depression or mental health issue. 
we need yeah. to check these numbers, but it sounds... It's around that. It's always yeah. around there, you know. And, um, yeah. ABS brings them out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a guy that likes me as well. As long as he's wealthy. I've got a house. Have you got a house? Let's fly away into the sunset. <laughs> Hold my hand. Let's okay. take off. Yeah. Woo! Nothing to depress me. Not right now. As you said, I uh, you walked past me earlier. I think I said, don't stay in Byron. So that is stay what I happy. want to do. Stay happy. This is the most beautiful region stay that I've happy. ever been to. So yes, I need to go and buy some. George Soros himself says $47 trillion has been stolen to support what? New World Order Jerusalem. As they create chaos out of which they will create what? Hardline order, civil war, and then they seek to cut off all the voices of truth, whereby they will then real, rule and reign the world in the abomination that they are. They did this in the Great Depression, they did this in World War One, World War Two. Oh, I could do a, a butterfly kick with my roller blades on. See? Masters of war, you could build all the guns, you could build the death planes, you could build all the bombs. When I came to Australia, I decided to, to drop the TV, so now I don't have a TV in my house and I don't even get radio except local radio stations, so I get limited input of news and current affairs. What else I get comes word of mouth from, from people I meet. And I could read papers, but for some reason I seem to have backed off. It's the, the intensity of the, the nature of the, the, the news and coverage that I was getting through the media has, was sending me to a place quite low. What is the concept of an economy? Well, actually, it comes from two Greek words, oikos meaning household, and nomos meaning law. In other words, it means the law of the household in the original Greek. All, all education. If we could find a job, unemployment in the states, then we might not have higher than seven percent. So, I'm pretty happy, but <laughs> well, you're not happy about it. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not depressed about it. <laughs> this son, masturbate. masturbate. Well, they didn't fund my trip, but they gave me a bit of extra cash because I was just dwindling in that department. And yeah, but I don't want to have to rely on them. I don't think it's fair, so it's. It keeps me awake. Like they've got to their be own honest, fun it does keep me awake off. a little bit. Sleepless nights. Not completely sleepless, but definitely worrying. No, I don't have depression, no, no. I've always managed my own affairs quite well, thank you. Okay. You did hide behind walls. You did hide behind desks. I just want you to know I can see through your masks. So I'm going to stay out here being very happy and not depressed at all. There's nothing to depress you. So, there. Nothing. <laughs> now I'll be talking. Now you want to really take a, a video documentation about me and the international financial crisis, isn't it? On me to meet you. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it hasn't affected me. Is that good? <laughs> you good? We are good. Alright man. No, I don't have economic depression. 